meaning of this word what do you mean by the term consent we when while we were studying this the term consent basically we focused upon section 13 right and we try to understand that when consent is not formed no consent no agreement and once the consent is formed now we will check its what whether it's a free or not the concept of free consent is given under section 40 which provide about the circumstances in which consent will not be free for example coercion fraud undue influence misrepresentation and mistakes we have understand this chart in the earlier class is liye main isko detail mein nahi likh raha hu one by one we pick karenge isko aur humne hi samjha hai कि इसका जो कॉन्सिक्वेंस है दिस विल ऑलवेज रिजल्ट इन टू वाइडेबल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट अंडर सेक्शन नाइनटीन और नाइनटीन ए राइट दिस इज ऑल वी हैव अंडरस्टैंड टिल इन अ लास्ट क्लास टूडेज डिस्कशन विल बी फोकस्ड अपॉन वन बाय वन अंडरस्टैंडिंग what do you mean by word coercion what do you mean by word misrepresentation what do you mean by word fraud what do you mean by undue influence and mistakes we have already done when we are doing section 13 right clear as if but a clear na mansi clear it na tenka done hai right chaliye so first our topic of discussion is coercion coercion is defined under section 15 of indian contract act basically i will not say the define they say what amount to coercion basically what amount to coercion as per section 15 of coercion under indian contract act and if you read section 15 let us read section 15 and find out what amounts to coercion this is coercion is the committing or threatening to commit an act forbidden by indian penal code the first thing this is an act forbidden by ipc will amount to will amount to coercion first thing whether this act is committed or threatening to commit ठीक है तो whether you are committing this act committing or threatening to commit threat to commit so either you are committing this act or you are threatening to commit this act which is forbidden by ipc when i say forbidden by ipc you have to understand they are not saying punishable by ipc punishable by ipc they are not writing the word punishable by ipc so it is not necessary that anything which is punishable by ipc is only uh, coercion rather anything which is somewhere prohibited in ipc for example if you talk about suicide suicide is not punishable not punishable the reason is this logic is this why why, why is not punishable because you cannot punish a person who who died because you cannot punish a person who dies so why uh, suicide is not made punishable because you cannot punish a person who has already died who is not available and that's why this is not this is not prohibited okay but if you see attempt to suicide is punishable 
is not or not attempt to suicide is punishable or not yes it is or abatement of suicide is also punishable am i right or not another another process also so if you try to understand the jurisprudence that why they are not making uh, suicide punishable because that is something which cannot be made punishable very simple reason for that is because the person cannot be punished but if you see the word suicide somewhere is forbidden the word suicide is forbidden and hence make sure you remember this that even a threat to commit suicide threat to commit suicide is coercion right so why i am focusing upon this that threat to commit suicide is coercion because even if suppose a threat threatens b that if he does not does not marry her she will commit suicide she will commit suicide a marries a promises to marry this is what this consent has taken under consent is not free free has taken under coercion is coercion mein liya gaya right to so basically anything which is made punish uh, made or made punishable or not but if it is forbidden uh, in ipc theek okay, hai then it will be made what if it is made on that ground it will be to considered as coercion for the purpose of contract the first criteria is that coercion means anything which is forbidden by ipc so when a consent is obtained when the consent is obtained by party by doing an act or by threatening to do an act which is not allowed by indian penal code so i am not saying which is not which is punishable by indian penal code but i am saying which is not allowed by indian penal code then the consent obtained under the this uh, threat or fear of that act will amount to a coercion and the party given the consent can get the contract avoided it is void contract is it clear to this perspective or not clear ho gaya mansu beta clear hai self clear hua self clear hai yes aaj tak clear hua beta rahul clear hai chaliye रेशम बेटा क्लियर शिवमा मानसी ऑल क्लियर ठीक है चलिए नेक्स्ट लेट अस मूव फर्दर वन थिंग वन कॉन्सेप्ट वी हैव अंडरस्टैंड दैट कोअर्जन इज कमिटिंग और थ्रेटनिंग टू कमिट एन एक्ट फॉरबिडन बाय आईपीसी और द अनलॉफुल डिटेनिंग सेकंड इज और second situation is unlawful detaining or threatening to detain any property unlawful detaining or threatening to threaten threatening to detain any property to the prejudice of any person whatsoever with intention to cause any person enter into him 
ठीक है तो डिटेनिंग और थ्रेटनिंग टू डिटेन एनी प्रॉपर्टी विद इंटेंशन टू एंटर इन टू एन एग्रीमेंट ओके इसको और what do you mean by uh, unlawful detaining or threatening to detain you know what is unlawful detaining and threatening to detain for example a kept the watch of b father under his custody ask for rupees 1000 so that so then only then only he will return the watch b promises to give 1000 rupees this is what the consent is obtained under this is a consent obtained under threat consent obtain under threat. so this is a consent obtained under threat and hence avoid this is coercion under section 90 okay one of the landmark judgment of uh, this coercion jo maine example basically diya that is askari bb versus askari mirza askari mirza versus bb j kishor kishor so basically what has happened uh, the consent was in this case consent was obtained on gun point so when the consent was obtained by uh gun point this is amount to portion we know that this amount to portion right same way another uh, case was there are some important cases like mazida versus mazida versus aisha theek hai to mazida versus aisha in this person give a person give threat to start criminal prosecution against the plaintiff so what happened ek individual ne dusre individual ko bola ki he exempt that i will start a criminal prosecution against you the point is say is a criminal prosecution aur uske basis par usne kya kiya uske sath ek contract uh, enter kiya so it was held that it is a case of threat theek hai so it is consent is not precursor chalo on the basis of on the basis of certain fake photos to uske paas kuch photos the kuch properties the uske against basis pe ya kuch documents the basically uske basis pe usse khilaf false criminal prosecutions ki baat ki gayi thi yahi se ek example pick karte hain simple bataiyega a called b and says 
I will charge you for sexual assault if you do not pay one lakh rupees to me. ठीक है be in fear paid one lakh उसने डब में क्या दे दिया वन लाख रुपीज दे दिया बी नाउ क्लेमिंग नाउ क्लेमिंग कोशन अब वो कोशन क्लेम कर रहा है डिसाइड चलिए बताइए जल्दी फास्ट डिसाइड 